What's going on YouTube? It's Terrence, I'm here. I'm back on YouTube just for a quick second. Just wanna do just a real quick, cold video. And I say cold because it's 20 degrees and five inches of snow out there. I'm not taking Ruby out in it. But we're just gonna do a little quick, cold, um, just a little tutorial, I guess. And I probably don't even wanna say that because a lot of you guys already know how to do this, but just for the ones that don't, we're gonna start uh, by setting, uh, changing the my mode in the car, like changing the cluster colors, cluster appearance, adding the gauges, uh, the colors, and all that extra stuff that I can't do. It's just, just quick stuff, just until I can get the car out on the road in springtime. So since it's cold, I gotta be bougie. And it's cold, it's nasty. So don't mind me, I gotta put on these raggedy slides just because I'm OCD and I don't want all this salt and crap in the car. Look at the pony on the ground. That is awesome. So, I'm dropping Ruby real quick. I already got her running and warm. Got a nice 26 degrees, it's cold as shit. So, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do a little bit of my mode setup, the colors, uh, cluster appearance, and just how to set all this stuff up. Just how to get our colors going. So, since my car has the mode select, the steering select, and traction off, and then, you know, I don't have a Shelby, so I don't have a whole lot of settings down here. But I do have this, the exhaust, and I do have the steering. So, see how down below it says hit okay or hold okay? to save as my mode. What that means is my mode is just your custom settings. Let me turn this air down. Man, that is blowing, isn't it? Goodness. It's cold out. That's why we had that like that. So right now, so look, if I go, these modes are all set by one, two, and three. You can have three different modes set. So in number one, when I hit one, it's going to change to the way I have my car personally set up. This is how I keep my car set up. These are the colors that I like. That's the colors that I use. So uh, and so when I go ahead and change this, I'm just gonna hit two just so we can have something to, to play with. Uh, excuse the hood open light. My hood is open. But, uh, so check this out. So I'm gonna go down here. I'm gonna change the mode up here. So I'm gonna go to my mode. So we're gonna change this because I already got my mode set into Sport Plus. Then I got the exhaust and track, and I got the steering and sport. So to change that, we're gonna go down here, we're gonna hit this pony button. The pony button's gonna bring up the special settings, I guess you can call that. So we're gonna change the exhaust mode to sport, right? Then we're gonna hit the back button. It's gonna take us back. Now you see the exhaust change to sport. The cluster is also in sport, so we're gonna go into the pony button once more. Pony, we're gonna go to cluster appearance, and let's just put it in track, just for giggles. Go back, see the cluster change to track. The steering is still in sport, so we come down here, we hit this, that's gonna change my steering. Let's put the steering in comfort just to have some differences here. So now we got a different, so now that we got the sport, you know, the car in sport plus, then the exhaust in sport, then the steering is in comfort. So we hit okay to save that. And it's saved. Now, every time you come back here, you start the car, you go to drive, um, you go to mode. If you change the mode, put it in sport, it's gonna change. Everything changes, go to track, get all track, changes the track. Yeah, we know it's for track use, supposedly, but whatever. Uh, keep hitting the mode select, mode select. Now this is normal. So this is everything in normal. Now the top right here did not change because I changed my settings. So if we go here and go back to cluster appearance, if you go up here to change with drive mode, now, it'll keep changing every time I hit the mode select down here. Now my mode, remember I have it set in, into sport. So that's why it changes there. Sport is already sport. And go to track, it's gonna change. 
Yeah, track use. Okay, we get it. Hit it again, again. That's drag strip is also track is the same. Okay, we get it. Safety first, I guess. See, it's in drag strip mode, then the exhaust is in track and the steering is in sport. snow and wet which this car would never see wet or snow back to normal and then remember when we go back to my mode that's where our custom settings are and that's how you set that up now every time you come back to the car you get in unfortunately it defaults so you have to switch back at least i could be wrong Somebody let me know in the comments. I could be wrong. You remember, I only got 400 miles on the car. I, I'm coming from a Camaro. But I think it defaults back, and I think you have to keep selecting it. But so the color, now see, it's purple here. It's purple and leather color. It look like the Joker colors. But So to change that, we're going to go back, and we're going to hit our famous pony button again. So we're going to go up to my color this time. So we got primary color, secondary color, ambient light, and to create my color. So we're gonna go to primary color first. Uh, so the primary color is blue. See the fuel gauge change from yellow to blue. And I think the temp gauge, now let's change to blue. And even across here, it changed to blue too. So a secondary color, I had some color set up. Let's go orange. See how the tack changed here? Well, the speedometer changed. The tack changed also. This stayed blue because this is, this is a primary color here. Let's change that secondary color again. Let's see what we get here. Let's go green. Yeah, the green is cool. These gauges also turned blue because this is the primary color. These also went blue as primary color. And then the door handles, those are also blue. Blue. And then out here, it's blue. Uh, so that's how you change that. Ambient light, we'll go here. That's the cup holders and the door handles. So we'll go ambient color. Let's change it to white. See everything turned white. That's white, white. It's pretty cool. It's, it's, it's a lot of customization to be done in here. It's just, it's almost so much. It's, all, it's almost overwhelming that it's that much colors in here. And just remember, I come from my Ranger. My Ranger does not have options like that so uh, let's see let's go back to primary color let's go to a red so the red is cool the car is red gauge is turned red it's nice so all the primary colors the fuel gauge the temp gauge across here the menu and my gauge cluster here is red these are only for the performance pack they're kind of redundant gauges I like them just because they do move, but you know, you don't need to be there. Could be some other gauges there, but this car will not be tracked either. Call me a punk, but this car is just, this is my toy. I'm just gonna use this to, just to play in. I'm not gonna go to the track, I'm, I'm, just, I'm OCD. I will go to the track and watch you guys track yours, but me and Ruby gonna sit and watch. So, um, what else I was gonna do? Oh, the gauges. Like, okay, let's go back to normal mode real quick. We're gonna, we're gonna talk about these gauges. And that's another thing I hate. Like this button, it only goes one way. It doesn't go back. So once you pass where you need to go, you gotta go all the way around. So we're back in normal mode. See, everything changed back to normal mode. So in the middle here, we're gonna hit our pony button here and we're gonna go to my mode and we're gonna click out of that right just so that it's not in the way here let's see get it out of the way get it out of the way so you you actually can have three little gauges in here and two of these gauges can also be put in here that's why i call those gauges kind of stupid because so in order to do that, we gotta go into the pony button. We're gonna go back to gauges. We're gonna go configure gauges because the gauges aren't there. So you can do air fuel, you can do axle oil, cylinder head temp, oil pressure, engine oil pressure, 
inlet air temperature, trans oil temperature, vacuum, which is already up here on the dashboard, voltage, which I think is kind of important. So you can only have three. So let's do air fuel. I like my voltage gauge to be there. I like to see what my battery is doing. And just for giggles, we can do trans oil temp, right? So we go back and then we go show gauges. Gauges are here now. You can have any one of those gauges there, but you can only have three. Um, so that's how that works. What else did I want to talk to you guys about? Um, oh, so into the exhaust. Let's go back in here. It's going to go back to Sport Plus. Where's my mode? We're going to put my mode. See how my mode is gone? Because what happened is in my pony button here, I took it out. This is how you take it out. So if you go here, hit the X, it's going to be back in that menu again. So now if we keep going through here, my mode right there. All right. So now my mode is back. So what I can do here, if I don't want to be a total jerk to my neighbors, because I kind of like the neighbor on one side of me. The other one, I could really care less. That's some kind of mean, but I don't really care less. But. So we go to, to, to the exhaust mode. So now I can change this and I can do quiet start and I can make it start quiet if I want to. Or I can go set a quiet time. And every morning when I come out, if I choose to start my car or drive my car to work and I start my car at 5.30 a.m., I can make her start in quiet mode at 5.30 a.m. every time. So I can go 5.30 a.m. start and I can make it end at, let's just say 6.30. So anytime after 6.30, she's gonna start in whatever I choose it to be. It don't have to be quiet mode, which I kind of like, it's kind of respectful. I think that's pretty sweet. Uh, so you can do quiet start on. I don't have that on because of course she's been sitting in here stored. Um, we're not gonna do quiet start. Yeah. But I think the car is pretty customizable. I like it. Um, you know, my Camaro, it was a 2016. Um, it was way after the fact or after, well, actually not after, it was before they came out with the, uh, like the Z01. It was the first of the six gen. So it didn't have a lot of the customizations that the 17, 18, 19 and so on had. So that car was pretty stock, plus it was a 1SS. So it really didn't have a lot of those options. So coming into this car, it's like, man, this thing, I can I can customize every little thing in here. And I think that's pretty sweet. Um, yeah. So this, at a glance, that's what I wanted to talk about today. Um, let me see, is there anything that I missed? Track apps, we can go to track apps, see what's in here. Line lock, I don't think I can use my line lock because it's not in drive. I think it might have to be in track. Let's see. Of course, I don't want to really want to do line lock. Well, I can't. I don't know why just yet. Like I said, the car is still new to me. I haven't really driven it. I've only got it to do line lock one time. And I'm going to figure that out. So you got all these options. I can do drag race countdown. It's just crazy. This 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 car is 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 ready for the track. It's ready for something that I'm not gonna do with it. And call me a, a, a whatever, but like I said, I always wanted a Mustang. I got a Mustang. Um, I got the Mustang that I wanted. I like all of this stuff to be in here because I think as a Mustang, I think it should have all of this stuff. Now there's guys that go and they buy the cheaper one and they build it up better than this one. But me personally, I got the car the way I wanted it the first time. It's, you know, I, I'm, I'm happy with it. I like all of the extra options that I'm not gonna use because if I ever, and I mean ever decide, and this is just at a long run, decide to sell this car, which I'm 90% probably won't, It'll have all of the stuff in here. We're also going to do a carbon fiber. I'm going to put the carbon fiber dash in here from the um, the 350. I got to order it. Um, I will have it probably next month. We're going to do a install video. I'm going to come up here. We're going to take this out. 
and we're gonna put the carbon fiber dash in here. Um, I want it, I had it in my Camaro. I, th I think it looks absolutely awesome. I'm not too keen on this. This is cool. I'm not too keen on it. I, I don't, I think it could be a little more, mm, and it's not, but um, that's just me. I, I like a lot of that flash, but I don't want the overlay. I don't want a cap on top of this. I want the actual part. So I'm gonna order the actual part. It's gonna be a little pricey, but I want it. And I want the Ford part. I don't want any aftermarket stuff. because I put anything on here, I want it to be Ford, except for the exhaust. So um, I'm gonna get the Ford part. I'm gonna put it on there. And uh, we'll, we'll go through that together. We'll get all of it done and get it all put in there. They do have a carbon fiber shift knob too. I gotta figure out where to get that from. I gotta find that, but I'm gonna get it. I'm trying to debate if I want the steering wheel. Now I know that it goes against what I just said about it being four parts, but I kind of, I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. I'm not sure, but I'm thinking about it. But yeah, that's all I wanted to do. Just a real quick walk around of the gauge. This is the 401A. You have the, the digital gauge cluster, which you actually can swap into a lower model Mustang. You, you can, yes, you can, it can be done. Um, but yeah, I just come up here just to give y'all a quick walk around of that. Like I said, most people know that stuff. Most people don't. Myself, I'm new to the Mustang, so I decided to go over it. Um, I don't know. Just keep checking with me. Hit me back. Subscribe. Hit that little bell. I'm going to try to to put as many videos up as I can. In the wintertime in these cold months, it's going to be a little sporadic, but I'm going to get... In the summertime, we're we going we to be off to the to the races here. We're going to be playing around. We're going to do a whole bunch of little stuff. Okay. All right. I'll see you. Me and Ruby said bye.